ASMR card magic video. So, kickstarting 2018 with a new ASMR card magic video with, of course, the announcement for the deck giveaway that ended 2017, as well as starting a new up that would mean the world to me guys 
guys, let's start 2018 with a bang. So, thank you so much everyone. I can't wait to teach you one of the best card tricks I know right now. So last video, I performed a card trick which piqued a lot of people's interest and they wanted a tutorial for this unique and highly magical trick. And I'm actually just gonna quickly perform it for you once more and then teach you how it is done. So, on January 1st, 2015, a few years ago, I performed this trick for a group of friends and I said to them, pick any card. So my best mate, he comes over and takes a card and shows it to his friends. So the Jack of Spades. I said, okay, that's fine, take the Jack and just place it in the deck, we'll give it a mix. So he does that, he shuffles the cards and I put the cards down and I say, I'll be right back everyone, I'm just going to the bathroom. Just hold on a sec. So I go to the bathroom and my friend thought it would be funny to take the cards and mess up the entire trick. He took cards and put them face up to face down to face up to face down like so. And you can see that this just destroys the whole card trick. And he left one card on the top and squared the cards up and put them back on the table. Now, to the normal person, it looks fine. But I came back and I saw we had face up to face down cards. We had face down to face up. We had all different kinds of just chaotic things going on. And at this point, I thought, well, my card trick is officially screwed. So I said to him, you better fix my deck of cards and find the jack of spades. And he said, no problem. So he came over, put his hand over the cards and snapped. And just like that, all the cards mysteriously went back the correct way, except one card in the deck. And of course, that card was the jack of spades. So, how is this trick done? This is going to be a little tutorial. It'll take a tiny bit of time, but grab out your deck of cards, and I'll be teaching you a really nice and easy version, which provides the same hit. So, get your cards out, go to your spectator, and get them to select a card. So, they pick a card, and as they do that, you want to look at the bottom card of the deck. Now the reason you want to do this is because, say, they pick a card, alright, as they're looking at the card, you have that time to misdirect and look and just glimpse the bottom card. Okay, so after you glimpse and memorize the bottom card, in this case, the Ace of Clubs, put the cards down and say to your spectator, take the card, put it on top of the deck, and cut the cards wherever you want just like that. Now, this is actually really fair, because to the spectator, you're not handling the cards, you're not doing any quick moves, they're literally losing the card in the deck. But what they've inherently done now is see, if you look through the cards, you know that your key card that you memorized is now on top of the chosen card, in this case, the Queen of Diamonds. So what you want to do is after they've done that, again, they select a card, say this one, you hand it to them. As you do, glimpse the bottom card, in this case the three of diamonds. Place the cards down, tell them to place the card on top and cut the cards. Now, after this, you say, okay, so you want to start telling them the story. Say so, one night I was performing this trick. And as you're telling them the story to misdirect them, you're looking for that key card. And then their selection. When you find that, you want to cut it to the bottom of the deck. So, how it would work in real time is say, okay, so one night I was uh, performing a trick for my friends, and what happened was I did something like this. All right, boom, just like that. Now you're ready to do the trick. So, you say, so I looked at the cards and my friend came up, and you want to, if you want to mix the cards you can, you can do an overhand shuffle where you retain the bottom cards. You can just hold on to these bottom ones. But you don't even have to do that. You can say, 
so I put the cards down and left. And then you say, my friend came over and mixed up the cards. So, the illusion you're creating is you're doing this. Now what this looks like is, you're going ahead and missing the cards face up, face down, but what you're actually doing is an illusion. See, when you're putting one card face up, and then flipping it back and putting another card, you're not even doing anything really. This, it's not like this. You're just placing a card, pushing it to the bottom, flipping, pushing a card, flipping, even doing it with a group of cards. So if I go through the entire deck doing this, whilst it may look like cards are being messed up, you've just done this. Half the cards are face down, half the cards are face up. But you're creating the illusion that what's going on is you have them shuffled together. So, go through and say, my friend thought he would destroy the whole trick. Now, you do this for the entire deck. However, when you get to the very last card, which is their card, you want to place that on top. So now, it should look like this. My bad. It should look like this. So they have half the cards face down, half the cards face up, with their selection face down on the top. So you obviously don't want to show them that. So just once more. Their selection is at the bottom as you cut it there. Start doing the messy shuffle. And really sell the idea that this is chaos. Put the last card there, card on top. Square up the cards and place them down. Now, here is where you fix this chaos. How do you go from here back to there? Well, you want to go through, and if you look at the cards, you'll see there's a little bit of a noticeable gap. Cards naturally are angled in this way, vice versa angled this way the other way so for most decks if they're very if they're relatively in good condition you'll be able to see a noticeable gap so look you say face up face down face down face up you're just cutting to different portions right you know in this area it's face up face down you know in this area it's face down face up what you want to do is find the area where it's face down face down because that is the section where all these cards are face down and this is the section where all the cards are face up so if you can cut to that section which is easy you then want to rotate this packet around and place it on top and just like that you have solved the trick so that's called triumph you might have to replay the video just a couple times to really let that sink in but for the most part that is how you do it I hope that helped. So, I know that may have been, as I said, just a bit complicated, but it should be quite easy to do. Now, time to show you a new trick. What I'm going to do is this. You'll notice that a deck of cards is made up of both red cards and black cards. And at the moment, the cards are randomly distributed throughout the pack. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and separate the red cards from the black cards. And I want you to see that as I do this, there are no shady moves going on. There are no kind of slip cuts. It's really me separating the cards. So now if I spread out the cards, you'll see that we have red cards on one side and black cards on another. And what I'll actually do is give the cards a bit of an interesting shuffle. I'll place red cards over here and black cards, say, over here. And what I'll do with the red cards is give them an interesting shuffle. Face up to face down. Just not to handle right now. And one more. 
little shovel. And we'll do the same thing here with the black cards. Face up to face down. of spades of course they actually turn into 
the three other aces. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, thumbs up this video. Check out the card giveaway. If you want to win one of these awesome decks. Um, thank you so much for watching, 